All right, so welcome everybody. <clears throat> uh, if you can hear me all right, just let me know in the chat by putting a wire, yes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> today we're gonna start by looking uh, at gold and silver. So gold's made a very large move to the upside. And to gain some more insight on what's going on, uh, we're going to move up to the daily time frame because now it's nearing other highs. All right, because on the one hour time frame, there's no other highs um, that we can look at. So therefore, we're going to move up to the daily and begin there. And then we'll start by marking off the highs uh, that were made at the same time. So here we have one. That was September 22nd. Oh, no, that's not one. July. Okay, so July 20th, both silver and gold made a high. So we're going to draw our zone there. And what do we see? Who wants to let me know in the chat? Who wants to take a crack at this? Is there a setup? If so, what is it? Sam, what do you think? Exactly, divergence on silver. <clears throat> now, if you've watched some previous webinars where I discussed the gap um, that we have when we have between divergence. Ideally, what we would like to see here is gold to, first of all, close above on a daily basis. Above that zone and hold there while silver stays below, right? That would give us a divergence setup on silver. So gold would be up and then down and then silver divergence down. But this space that we have here between today's high and the divergent zone is too large. And I talked about this uh, in some previous uh, webinars that we did in the last few weeks. Uh, there was a lot of setups like this. It just turned out that way, right? So again, here we're presented with a really stretched divergence. Ideally, we would like price to be you know near the divergent zone and then hold while gold in this case would close above and then that would be a setup down so what we can anticipate is a divergence to occur however gold may head higher here because silver is going to try and catch up to the zone So that's that's how we would analyze from a higher time frame uh, time frame perspective, and so I would say that the move down is not quite ready yet, and therefore we can now move down to a one hour time frame. Okay, and if we, you know, if we could have made this divergence earlier while we had that gap, we're both heading towards that divergence zone. You can see that um, yesterday we actually had divergence here. 
So Wednesday, uh, both gold and silver made a low. And yesterday in New York, silver crossed while gold didn't, right? But you can see again, seems to be a theme in the market at the moment we had all this space. So what you could have waited for in, in a situation like this, as we had momentum, I'd wait for a, a swing to be crossed here possibly closed above. So this bar could have given an entry signal. Uh, but that was completely valid. And you can see now nothing is stopping it uh, in terms of heading higher. We have no divergence here. Now on the five minute right now, a few hours ago, I believe there was a setup here. Five minute or 15 minute. I like to look at the five minute when I'm looking at the day. And in this case, we had the long on silver. So both assets made a low here, uh, pre-London. And at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, so an hour before the open, silver held while gold broke. And again, you can see that gap again. And as you study divergence um, throughout, you know, at least one whole year, you'll notice that it will move in seasons, right? Gan talks about how the market moves in seasons, and that applies to, to everything. So if you see gaps that are working, then you can note that down and take that into account into your probabilities. But then eventually you'll see that divergence, divergences will all of a sudden start getting right to that zone and holding. So just something to, uh, to take note of. So in this case, uh, nothing looks like it's going to stop uh, and looks like gold and silver are going to continue higher, at least for now. Let's move on to the S&P and the Dow. Let's go out to the daily as well. Okay, so you can see <clears throat> at the top here, it may be better on a four hour. Uh, so both the S&P and the Dow made a high here yesterday. And this is the higher probability setup that I was just discussing. Uh, other, this is the you know where there isn't too much of a gap. So price on the on the S and P crossed above, closed, and then held above a little bit and started coming down, while the Dow managed to head higher, touch that zone, hold and then came down. Very nice setup there. Um, so now what we would be looking for is essentially 
we'd be waiting for price to come down to these lows because they were both made together uh, by both markets. And then that should tell us what's next. I also discuss in uh, many webinars that if we are short here, the way we want to judge uh, profit taking would be to allow the price to cross at the same time, right? So obviously if we start diverging, we'd get out, but we're looking for price to cross at the same time. And that would tell us that it should continue lower. But if we get divergence, then obviously we would get out as that's a signal for the opposite direction. Any questions on the S&P? Okay, let's um, move to oil. Be on the one hour, what's going on? Doesn't look like anything's happening on oil at the moment. Let's take a look at the daily. Oh, so um, you'll recall that we had divergence. Uh, I think this was two webinars ago or yeah, two or three. We were looking at this divergence over here that had just confirmed and we had speculated a move down. So that happened uh, perfectly. I personally just don't trade oil. And wasn't any divergence over here to say that the trend is now up. Uh, so we would wait for price to come back to this zone. And I'd probably move it on this high first because that's the same as this highest high. All right, let's move to Euro USD. And dollar Swiss. And since these markets are inverted, I'm going to press Alt I on dollar Swiss and that'll give me an indication. Okay, so it seems like we have a divergent high here on the daily. And dollar Swiss is low, but remember it's inverted. So here the setup would be euro down. But again, we have this gap here. And higher probability, let's move down to the four hour, would it be if price can come up here and hold. And if it can do that, if it can touch the divergence zone and hold, then I would uh, see euro dollar heading down from here. Any questions on that? All right, doesn't look like there's um, 
any setups going on at the moment. Let's go back to gold. This is the most interesting. And silver. So since the trend is up, I guess what we could look for uh, is another divergence to occur. And then continue to move up. That's what I would be looking for uh, for today. All right. So does anybody have any questions? I think that's going to be it for today. That's all I see. As always, uh, if you have any charts you want any feedback on, feel free to uh, send them to my email. Um, that's the way you're going to learn the best is uh, just by getting feedback on many, many situations. Uh, so take advantage and we'll be back here uh, next week. Uh, so have a great weekend and take care.